satellite hurtling toward Earth. NASA now says it won't fall until late tonight or early tomorrow, but the agency still can't pinpoint where it's going to hit. More than 20 pieces of the satellite, some weighing hundreds of pounds, are expected to strike the Earth at potentially devastating speeds. And despite earlier assurances that the U.S. wasn't a target, it appears, well, now we're possibly back in its path. You know, meteorologist Chad Myers joins us now with the latest. So, Chad, I mean, since the Earth is mostly water, I'm assuming the biggest chance is it's just going to hit water. Where is this satellite now, and how long before it's supposed to actually re-enter the atmosphere? It is over the Indian Ocean right now. The forecast, Anderson, that it's going to be four hours before it makes, hopefully, splashdown. But NASA is also saying that's four hours plus or minus three hours. So that's like, it could happen an hour from now, it could happen seven hours from now. It's kind of like having a one to 12 inch snowfall forecast. Oh, somewhere between one and 12 inches. Not very accurate. And literally, I, they don't know where this thing is gonna splash down or, or hit the ground. They have literally at this point, no idea. It's been a slow tumble to the earth today and it has been tumbling. NASA saying that they think that that's why it's not falling as fast, it's because of the tumble. But there's India right there. That's next pass will be just south of Australia. And the reason why we're happy it isn't falling right now is because the next pass will be right over Texas. Then after that, right over San Diego. The next one after that, right over Seattle. And some people are actually thinking that it's going to be up and down and back even across parts of Africa before the chance of it actually comes down. Now, there is a potential here for Hawaii. If it comes down right south of you, you could have a very great look at this in about four hours, maybe four and a half hours. It could be farther to the west as well. The reason why we honestly don't know, Anderson, take a look at this. And I know we can take this full screen to give you a scary view of what's still up there. There are 4,000 things up there, not quite as big as Wait, what is all that stuff? 1,000 of those things actually operating satellites, 3,000 of those as big as a satellite, but defunct, not, not doing anything. Uh, pieces of an old rocket booster just kind of floating up there. And all of that stuff has to fall back to Earth someday. Now, hopefully the operating satellites aren't going to fall back for a while. But that's what we were talking about. We're talking about such significant amounts of stuff up there. It's going to be very hard for us to figure out what's going on. What is going to go on? When is it going to fall? And the Earth is not really a sphere. The Earth is bigger in the middle. It's kind of fatter on the outside, kind of like it's getting a little older, a little older guy. Uh, fatter along the equator because, well, it's kind of the spin going to it. So when, because it's fatter here, right, call it like that, I'll kind of make it a little bit bigger than it is. As the satellite comes by, it is going to make its closest approach to the atmosphere. That's going to make it hit the atmosphere. As soon as it hits the atmosphere, it's going to burn up and fall to the ground rather quickly. So that's why we think it'll be somewhere around the equator, plus or minus Hawaii, maybe even over plus or minus Africa, because we've got this plus or minus three hours. Bottom line is really have no idea. Absolutely no idea. <laughs> Chad, I appreciate the expertise. Thank you very much.